hello everyone welcome once again in cool it help in this tutorial session i will show you how to use log4j in javafx project also i have noted down some faqs as you can see uh, log4j properties file location and what will be the log file path in the properties file and if we are creating a jar file from this javafx project then how we can set up a log file uh, outside this jar file and then how to use the logger in uh, multiple JavaFX classes. So I will explain all these uh, FAQs answers in this tutorial session. Let's get started. Step one. In first step, we have to create a log4j.properties file inside this JavaFX uh, project. Then uh, we will add this configuration setting inside this uh, 4j properties okay now we will start this is the fxml based project inside the netbeans ide and uh, we are going to create the properties file in the base package as you can see we have these three files fxml controller and uh, the other file which has a start method to create properties file uh, just uh, select the focus on this and uh, do the right click and go to the new then uh, there is the option properties file if this is, this is not there so just select the others on this uh, window you have to type properties on this uh, filter box then you will see the other option click on the left side and then you will uh, see the file type appeared on right hand side now you have to give the file name log4j that's it click on the finish and the log4j.properties file will be ready in your JavaFX project. Now we will copy this uh, configuration content. I have given a link to download this content file in the description box. So you can get it this from that place. This is simple configuration as you guys aware about that. Now we will download log4j.jar file because we are going to set up then we will import this in a class path so select the download link and uh, visit the browser and paste it hit enter and you will see the maven repository link and this is the place where you will get the jar file click on this link and your jar file will start downloading then we will import this file in our project do the right click select properties then go to the libraries and on the right hand side use this button add jar and select your jar file click open and finally click on the ok to add this ok we have half done in this setup now i will explain a little bit inside this log4j.properties file so we have used log4j.rootlogger debug and std out and file because we are trying to send the log output in the console as well as inside the file so the first configuration setup is uh, there for the file and the second one is for the console we are using log file appender for the file and the console appender for the console in this uh, example I am using both just for uh, explanation but you can remove the console appender if not required the most important thing uh, you have to remember look at the line number 6 and line number 12 so this is the log variable and uh, the value is dot forward slash logs dot forward slash logs means this is the logs folder which is going to be created just parallel to the src folder of this project okay and this will help you when you export the jar and your log file will be created outside the jar file so this setup is self-sufficient when you export your JavaFX project into a JAR file. And look at line number 12. We are using uh, this variable to fetch the value of this variable. Then we are applying the forward slash and then we have given the name of the file. So this is the log4j.appender.file.file properties value. So these two things important. If you are going to create 
a jar file of your JavaFX project. Rest of the things is similar as you have uh, applied on your ja Java web projects. Now we will start um, instantiating the log4j and uh, we will configure our logger object with log4j dot properties. So we here we will type a simple line to initialize the uh, logger static final logger small case logger this is reference variable and now we will use logger dot get logger inside the uh, parenthesis we have to use the name of this class in which we are using put a dot then class dot get name and then we will get a logger object inside this logger reference variable once we get it we can use it but before that we have to configure this logger object with log4j dot properties that means we are going to tell that please use log4j dot properties file and configure the logger as per our given configuration to do that we have to use property configuration property configurator put a dot and call a configure method inside this we have to give the log4j dot properties the same statement uh, to fetch the properties get class dot get resources parenthesis then log4j dot properties file name that's it now this is uh, configured we have written uh, this stuff in the start method because this is the starting point of our Java FX application. Now we can call the debug state um, function, info function or error function. So you can uh, transfer your uh, information, error information or uh, debug information or uh, normal info to the log file. So I have used these three statements for the demonstration logger.debug, logger.info, then logger.error. That's it. Now guys, we are going back to this notepad file and uh, we will look for the FAQs. So I have explained log4j properties file location, the path of the log file, and uh, the third one I will show you uh, in few minutes and the fourth one is if uh, we want to use log logger in a multiple classes now we will uh, create some logs statements inside the controller file to do that this is simple logger class dot get logger okay inside the parenthesis we have to use the class file name in which we are going to use this logger so just copy the fxml document controller class name dot class dot get name okay guys then uh, place a dot and you will get the method debug info and error so i am simply passing a string inside this uh, debug method calling and this statement will be redirected to the log file the same way I will use two more statements in which I will call the info and error method. I am passing the string but you can uh, transfer the stack trace any exception message uh, to the log file. That's it. Now we are going to take a clean build before run this project. Okay guys here we go. Do the right click click on the run file and uh, we will get this stage as well as you can see on the background we got these three statement on the console because we have enabled the standard out logs so we are getting it so we are getting these now we will click on this button because we have um, uh, written some statements on button click action method so we will get three more statements so console statements appearing properly the log statements now we will check the log statements uh, 
written inside the log file or not to do that I have to go to the project location so I have copied the location I am going to use this address bar and uh, right now I'm inside the uh, project so here is the log 4 dot properties file and this is the src folder and you can notice there is a log logs folder created created parallel to the src and now we have this my log file dot log now I will open it now you can see six statements are there and uh, three statements coming from the first file uh, so this is hello start method and three statements are coming from the controller file hello controller so you have seen uh, the logs redirected to the log file properly and uh, our log 4 is set up for the java effects is perfectly done Now, I will show you the demo in which I will answer the question. If we are creating a jar file, then what will happen to the log file? I will just show you. So I will uh, pick up the jar file that is created after the build and I will put this jar file in a separate folder. From that place, I will execute the jar file. Then we will observe and we will validate the log 4 setup okay so you will get the path like this copy the path of your project folder and uh, this way you will uh, reach at this place and you will find the dist folder in which you will get the jar file of your javafx project so here i have created one separate folder and uh, i have copied this jar file and supporting lib folder now i will open a command prompt at this path and then i will execute this jar file with the help of java hyphen jar command and uh, jar file name and you can see on the console we are getting the logs that was intended to redirect on the console and now i have just clicked on the uh, click button the another three statement of logs appeared on the console and these as well as written inside the log file now you can observe a new folder logs has been created and inside this logs folder a new file my log file dot log is created and you will get the logs inside your file as we were expecting we have done the configuration in such a way so if you create a jar file of your javafx project so your your log file will be created outside your jar file so you can easily access your logs so guys this is the way you can uh, use the log 4 g in javafx project i hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you have any doubts so please comment i will try my best to reply as soon as possible like this tutorial and subscribe my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help